What's up, guys? We're going back to uh, ESPN X Games skateboarding one more time. Are you serious? I'm serious. Are Insetic, you serious? Insetic Blake Tester, Felix Knight. Once the again, crew, I'm back. The crew, the crew, the Rick McCrank crew. Yeah, Rick motherfucker, Rick McCrank right. motherfucker Rick, crew. All right, Nick, so Rick, Felix, Rick. Felix, get a Rick look. Crank. Get a look at this this time. Oh shit, that board. We got a board, and you see, we got more yellow stats. Are turning. Maybe, Diet. maybe. Damn, Diet. dude. Who the fuck is on that maybe board? Came slightly decent. Damn. Yeah. Uh, all Damn. Right, hold on. So I gave myself some new wheels and I gave myself some new trucks and I'm editing these stats. Yeah, trucks. No, I'm editing, so Just fiddle with it. Fiddle with that shit. And so I gotta say, yeah, you know, so in uh, Mountain Bike Adrenaline, we kind of complained that the bikes were straight up upgrades of each other. Yeah. Um, and in this game, sure, the boards are technically straight up upgrades, but I don't really feel like that's as much of a problem. It's sort of weird, but like... Even in Tony Hawk or whatever, you know, the boards you got as you went through the game were just upgrades. Yeah. But that didn't really feel an up bad. Is it, is it an upgrade like an, like how SSX Tricky where you got like a new board? Yeah, like yeah just like SSX where, you know, none of the stats ever get worse. Yeah. yeah. Unless it was like a speed racing board versus... Yeah. Okay. And I always kind of thought like if, if I was going to solve that problem, I'd have... Uh, actually, Sean Palmer did this um, where all of your boards where it's just like your stats upgrade completely and all of the boards then, uh, you know, would give you that upgraded stats. So you could go back to a previous board and have the upgraded stats if you liked the look of a previous board. Oh, okay. In this so, game? Uh, no, Sean no, Palmer. Like Sean oh, okay. Palmer. And I mean, in this game, I can't even tell what board I'm using at any one time, so it's not... See, actually, oh, okay, DC, that, DC Universe does something... the bottom of the board. DC Universe does something that... Uh, that's pretty interesting. I think this is really cool. Um, and you can do this in Hellgate London as well, but nobody plays Hellgate anyway. So, um, in, in, I think you can put, do it in Hellgate. Either way, the, um, so let's say I, I've got a bunch of, like, you know, I've got a mask, uh, a domino mask, and then I've got something else. DC Universe is a superhero game or whatever. And maybe you like the look of your superhero. You think, you know, this, it would be stupid to continue to keep changing what my guy looks like. So once you equip, a particular style of, of suit, uh, it stores it. You just have that style. Whenever you want, you can change your style to be whatever you want it to be, as long as you've unlocked that. And so, I can have uh, a domino mask on, and have my mask look completely different, and just lock that. So, I can pick up and equip other things, and I'll always look like that. And I can also make it so they're just not visible. So, I've got a, a mask equipped, but I don't look like I'm wearing it. That way, if you want your character to look like he's just not wearing a mask or he's wearing a hood or whatever, I think that's a really cool system, and I think other games will probably benefit from doing that. Um, some games probably wouldn't, uh, but I think a game like this could... It would be something similar to this Sean Palmer way, but instead it would be like, you get to pick the stats you want, and you get to pick the look you want, and they're sem somewhat independent. Uh -huh. Yeah, some real talk. Yeah, yeah, some real talk for this game. But that's a real, that's a really nice feature of DC Universe that I like. But anyways, yeah. back to Rick motherfucker McCrank. Rick McCrank's uh, cross country U.S. domination Mick, destruction. Mick 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 Rick Frank domination destruction. Again, this, this is New York times right? times yeah. a okay. billion. This is New York, you know, because you got the subway, so it has to be New York. It ain't even New York City. It's like some podunks. Town in Podunk, North, in town in northern New York, you know. I always wondered how like towns I've, in New Podunk? York. Podunk, what does what? that mean? <laughs> it's like, Is that a word? Yeah, it's like some not <laughs> Alan, big, look it up. Not, not big <laughs> town or something. Alan's in the back, but he's not talking because he's you know we don't have enough room for all of us here. Alan, look up Podunk. <laughs> P O D U N K. That's oh, right. so you know how it's spelled. Uh, how would you spell it? Uh, uh, uh P A U. P -H you know, like fo. You know, P A U D U H N N N K C X K. Anything? Podunk? It's a really, it's a really new fashionista word. Facts or describes a place of small size or suburb. What the hell? You didn't know that. I knew. I, don't it. Think I know that's what Podunk is. You you would have been able to just tell us then. Uh, you started asking Alan to look it up before. You could have just told us. 
Does, does that mean I didn't know what it was? God damn it. <laughs> so, you know, New York, we're knocking over these uh, these barrels with fire. Yeah, burning Yeah, barrels. that's probably not good. Especially with all the wooden ramps. Yeah. Yeah. Or these, like, wooden red, buildings. Red but, things. but Rick McCrank doesn't live by any rules. It's Rick McCrank's destruction tour. I just said that. You know? That's true, yeah. This is Rick McCrank's Mick McCrank destruction tour. Yeah. Sponsored by, you know, Absolute Vodka. Rick McCrank doesn't even go to the X Games anymore. He goes to the, uh, to, the X to Games the come to his... He goes to the McCrank Games. Yeah, Rick McCrank. The War. Rick Crank. The and he wins every Whoa, year. Whoa, those are weird shaped and sized doors. And that's mm. some weird ass graffiti. Yeah, this whole place is littered with graffiti. Yeah, yeah. it's New York. Oh, okay. Nobody cleans up in New York. That's it's a broken car. It's littered with broken cars. So if anybody <laughs> if anybody lives in New York, I want you and to confirm. And burning barrels. I'm not asking you to deny this. Keep. Let me make that clear. I want you to confirm my suspicion that New York, everywhere except New York City, is extremely dirty. Yeah. Just everywhere. And again, if you live in New York, I'm not asking you to deny this. I'm asking you to confirm it. So even if it's not true, you yes. Have to, all right. It's true. It's true. Mm. Rick McCrank made it true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It wasn't dirty. It wasn't like this before Mick McCrank. Look at that symmetrical up. like mirror image <laughs> graffiti. Look at that. Yes. That was beautiful. But, you know, soon as Rick McCrank came on the scene, you know, people were like, "Holy shit." You know. We better make this place dirty for him. Yeah. <laughs> we better we better skate <laughs> oh, shit. It up. Rick McCrank's coming? Yeah. Shit, dude. Dude. He's Rick. so famous and popular Rick, and important. Rick McCrank's coming to town, you know? Yeah. I'm sure like Rick McCrank is somewhere out there watching this video. I I'm just pretty thought. sure Rick McCrank doesn't watch these videos. Fine, but... I'm sure Rick McCrank's son watches these videos. <laughs> I don't think Rick <laughs> McCrank could get a girl. But dude, he's Rick McCrank. That's yeah, true. He is a motherfucker. He probably he's has. Like, he's he probably like, has like a bitches, few, a few dozen children. Stacks of bitches. You know, when he's not a professional skater, he's like an espionage agent, and his name is like Dex Danger Seeker or something. Dex Danger Seeker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was that other guy that you came up with? Uh, well, Fuck. well, uh, well. It, uh, there was that other guy who's part of my like four like my massive fantasy series that I uh, am four hundred chapters in. Yeah. You know, oh Jesus. You know Martin Swordbreaker. Yeah. Uh, Martin Swordbreaker. <laughs> the sword, actually, Martin Swordbreaker. Heard, the Swordbreaker. I have, heard of, I have, I have heard, heard of Swordbreaker. I have heard of Martin Swordbreaker. I actually started on the three hundred ninety fifth chapter, and I'm gonna eventually you know work on all the ones before. I think it. it's really interesting that I tried my hardest to import him into you, our D and D session, wait, but you it mean, just didn't work out. You, you know? mean you're gonna work on the other chapters? Hold on. I mean I'm gonna go for. Forward, but I'm also going to go back. I want to stop okay. for a second. Serious talk about the game. We were just talking about how they ruined the city for Rick McCrank, and, and now, now he's in the ruins. Now we're skating in ruins, yes. So he went to New York, and he ruined New York. No, these aren't the ruins. We of don't New have York. a story for this game. Uh, what story is? It's too late. By the way, so he ruined New York. That's that's the story. <laughs> so this so, is New, this is New York. New York host Mick, yeah, Rick yeah. McCrank. Twenty-seven seventeen. I gotta say though, serious talk. I'm really digging this color palette. This, yeah, this it's just brown, brown and gray. And, like, it's green. <laughs> and the mummies that you blow up by bumping. What into was them. that? Wait, what was it that? Was a that was a mummy. It was a fucking mummy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so there's. This mummies, is yeah. Rick McCrank really is, did a number on. New he's York. a necromancer. This is the Mummy Returns. We are Brandon Fraser. Oh God. No more. Journey to the center of post Rick McCrank, New York. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that movie far too many times, and by far too many times, I mean half. <laughs> I watched. I watched. I got halfway. Through. I watched Mummy Jer Returns. You didn't watch the whole thing. I are you kidding me? <laughs> I couldn't even get through Tarzan. I, <laughs> not the same thing. <laughs> uh, excuse me. They're both Brendan so, Fraser, and they both suck. So you dick. just magneted to that? Yes. Uh, okay. No. It, did it's it, not did the game do that? It's not magnet. It's not magnet. You have huge control over your guy in midair. Oh, oh okay. really? You yeah. can hold left, and you can go like soaring, soaring to the left. You'll go to Japan if you're heading north. <laughs> well, then and you hold left. But I gotta say, this combo that they want me to do, uh, it, no, doesn't work, like, at all. Like, what do know. they want you to do? You saw in the combo video, they want me to, like, do these flips and then, like, grind this stuff, but there's no way to, like, there's not enough room to, like, rewrite yourself, like, in the preview image... Rewrite they, your history. In the pre in the preview, uh, like, image, they must have had someone with, like, 15 in their balance stat or something. Okay, okay. Rick, Rick McCrank... 
has time traveled to the future where New York is in ruins. Yes. And he's killing all the mummies. I can't figure out why. Um, but the mummies were brought back by, and the city was ruined by, his arch nemesis, Mikra Crank. Really, <laughs> yes. I was thinking Johnny Demonic. Well, Johnny Demonic too, but... There, that's later. Like that's that's the I mean, reveal a- after, at the end. After Rick McCrank won back the uh, X Games gold medals from Johnny Demonic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who you know Johnny? Uh, is Johnny Demonic a character in this? Uh, uh, not in this. Johnny uh, Demonic is a uh, character in like three games back. But yeah. By the way, you know. Felix doesn't follow the LP Felix, series. you really gotta follow our LP series. You know, we're starting to incorporate massive storylines. This is our own little, like, you know, you're a comics guy, right? This is our own little, like, Crisis on Infinite Earths here, you know? This is our Crisis in Infinite Extreme Sports games. Not I don't know why you thought he was guy. a comics guy. He's not, not a comic guy and did not know what those, uh... He doesn't know what I'm not a comic guy either. That's the weird part. That's not weird. I'm just a references guy, you know? So well, you then that's know, not weird. That's not weird, yeah, that's... That's an explanation. Okay, what would be another reference not comic related uh, to uh that part in Time Slitter's Future Perfect where there's like six Cortezes all trying to break into the security system? I guess kind of like that, but not really. What is kind of like that? Uh, this game and like this like L fuck uh, this LP series and how like. You know, all these games are converging oh, on stopping uh, Johnny Demonic. That yeah. mummy just just destroyed you. Uh, I gotta say, you know, all are you my, you're supposed to hit them because it looked like you got an achieve or like you got you yeah got, you're supposed to crash them you're supposed to crash them yeah and I, it said you crashed one out of five yeah but it I, also destroyed you it's it's not supposed to I I mean sometimes you do sometimes you just walk away from it oh okay so that that time it looked like I it don't understand well. why he's lighting them on fire. Like, couldn't he just knock them down? Rick McCrank oh. doesn't listen to you, Bob. That's true. I mean, Rick I McCrank can do what he wants. I don't understand why we're knocking over sentient mummies after, you know, doing the stuff yeah, they were I think doing that in the would previous be, levels. What, what you should be doing is, you know, bringing them to just a scientific authority so that they can, you know... No, what we should make be... Make sure they're not eating what we should be No, doing, study them. What we should be doing is, like, knocking over five priceless artifacts or something to be... Yeah, that's true. You know, like, with the rest of the game. Oh god! So they turn into like this black dust and disappear. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that it was is a beautiful. Mummy. How you landed on your face and were totally fine. And by, the, and by the way, you know, you think you've seen anything? Well, you know, we're gonna go to the fifth mum- mummy. And what the hell? Whoa! This will okay, all be explained. Okay. This will all be explained. You know. Was that pyramid head? Uh, n- the the not. person had a weird face. He did have a weird it's face. Just an, it's just the indigenous locals. All right. They're pyramid head. Shouldn't they be terrified? They're terrified of you. They should be terrified of the mummies that are lighting on fire. No, they're the used to it. Oh, I yeah. mean, I guess that's true. They've we're- been around for hundreds of years. Yeah, we're bringing in skateboarding to a new, uh, you know, era. I still maintain this is 2717. <laughs> new York 2717. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Demonic is evil. And of course. And Rick McCrank is a time traveler. Rick McCrank was sealed in a time vault. Was that a UFO? Is that, that a UFO? UFO? Yes, that's a UFO. God damn it! What is with these games and UFOs? And then, what is that? Is that the mummy? That's the last mummy. I and guess the mummies came from UFOs. Holy shit! Johnny Demonic isn't a demon. He's an alien. Holy oh, shit! No, he's just a demon. Well, his, from his space. name he's implies a, de- a, he's demon. a demon from space. But yeah, yeah. but we, maybe we just don't understand. It. We gave him this anthropomorphic name, Johnny Demonic. We didn't give him the name Johnny Demonic. Do you think demons are named Johnny? Uh, in Freestyle Metal X, he was named Johnny Demonic. Right, that's what I'm saying. Maybe he adopted that name to try to fit in with society, but he's really just an alien. And his real name has like three that apostrophes makes a lot of sense. in there or something. Oh, uh, that's kind of weird. I was kind of assuming... Spacist? You know. Yeah, that's a little spacist. Uh, <laughs> asshole. Yeah, what an asshole. Oh, geez, sorry, you know. If you're an alien out there, or are related to an alien, or know an alien, right, or defeated an alien, please contact me so that I can right get this the, right. Right yeah. the wrongs of five seconds of the past. Yeah. Oh yeah, two minutes to waste. So, so what if what if Rick McCrank was sealed in a time vault after he won the 2001 X Games, and then Johnny Demonic like destroyed the Earth, and Rick McCrank escaped from the time vault? 2017. In 2017 or whatever, and you know, he, then he proceeds to chase down the indigenous locals. Yeah, um, I think that's a good. Uh, this guy hates you, Pyramid Head. Yeah. Get out of here, Pyramid Head. 
He's got like a leaf on his head or something. Uh, it's something weird. It's some tribal his head mask like, or something. Uh, some shit like that. Supposed to be That's like, kind of racist. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a ruin. Yeah. I, yeah this is supposed to be like indigenous what? people just live in ruins. Yeah, I mean, this it's is great, supposed to be great like, They wouldn't be ruins if if people were living there. Maybe it doesn't the, matter what society you live in, you'll still try to keep up your house. Maybe the indigenous <laughs> people were turned into the mummies. Homeless men. Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're homeless people. They might not <laughs> a have a house. Mode with cartoon-like characters has been unlocked. Well, that's yeah. amazing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Insetic's been having some allergy problems, so have I. Yeah, gl so I'm glad we could, you know, figure... Yes, figure out the real skateboarding. figure out the real reasons behind this game and figure out what Konami was really trying to tell us. Oh no. good, you skipped the credits. Yeah, fuck the credits. I'm yeah, done. fuck that. I'm done with credits. I'm just done. Yeah. Yeah. I don't plan on giving credit to anyone ever. Who's Einstein? I came up with that relativity shit. <sighs> it's true. So that's been ESPN X Games skateboarding. We've gone to the X Games, we've gotten some gold medals, we've gone to arcade, I've shown you where all 36 sponsors are and how to do them. Yeah! You can't say I've never done anything for you. Well, that's not true. By watching my video, I have done something no, 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 to no. them. And By watching them. your video, you haven't done anything for them. By watching your video, they have done something for them. I have provided them with the uh, a video to watch. Yeah, in the, in the video. And also, their they can still say that you haven't done it. Their lives them. are not the same. Okay, for a second I thought no, you picked no. Lincoln that... Wada. Close call, buddy. Nah. Rick McCranker bust. Yeah. But I gotta say, uh, I don't know where his fourth board is. I'm assuming it's in the ruins. And I gotta say, you know, so... You may have noticed those little dots below the level names. Yeah, I was wondering that, that. that filled up when I got one of the boards. Uh -huh. There's not enough dots in those levels to give all eight characters three more boards. So, like... Some people just don't get boards. Either some people just don't get boards, or... Uh, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not going to try to figure out the answer. I'm done with this game. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the nine levels right there. He's in Free Skate. Yeah. And I believe you picked Vert. something special. I picked Vert, and yes, I picked the mode with the cartoon features yes. in it, which is Big, big Head oh, yes. Mode. Big Head Mode. Reminds me of Saints Row the Third. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, this was the era of Big Head Modes and Cheat Codes, despite this game not having any cheat codes. I miss cheat codes. We all miss cheat codes, you know? I do miss cheat codes. Cheat codes are one of those things where everyone complains that they're not in there anymore, but, like, well, we don't do anything about it. Well, of course not. What would we do? Start a Kickstarter? I, I, <laughs> petition, <laughs> petition, petition who? Petition EA? game companies. Come on, Bethesda. Yeah! yeah. Put some cheat codes in, in Skyrim. Skyrim, yeah. Well, they have mods, which is nice. No, cheat codes. Not but, but it's not Built the same. In. It's not the same like, as big uh, head mode doing for all the, the yeah. Konami code. So, you know, play me off, Rick McCrank. Play me off, Blank Tester. Felix Knight. <laughs> we don't have a preset tune. Oh, Danny boy! So the pipes, the pipes okay, are okay. calling. So that's been uh, ESPN X Games skateboarding, and up next is even more skating goodness. It is the next in Rick McCrank's amazing saga. We've gone from Rick McCrank's cross country tour to Rick McCrank's world tour. It, you know, next up, evolution Lanter. skateboarding. Evolution skateboarding. The next. You guys aren't ready for this. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. See you then. See ya. Yep, see ya.